Hi, this is Ken Button with Cloud Radix, and this is a quick screencast tutorial on how to add a product to the WooCommerce shopping cart. We're going to log into a backend administration section, and then we're going to add a product category following those steps. And then finally, we're going to add the product. So let's come on over to our browser. As you can see here, we have a basic WordPress installation. The only thing that we've added is the plugin WooCommerce. And if you click Shop, you'll notice that there are currently no products in the selection. So let's change that. So let's log into the backend administration section. And let's hover over here to Products and come over here to Categories and first add the category. Now I've given myself a, a little bit of a cheater text here. So I can quickly do this. Don't worry about the slug, the parent, or the display type, but we do need to worry about this particular item here, the upload image. So let's select some files from our computer and Chrysler category image, upload that. And right over here, um, let's just go ahead and, and put a title on there that um, Chrysler category, parts category. All your Chrysler parts for your old car in one place. And we'll copy that and put that in the description text as in the, and the alt text we'll use the same as the title. Very important to fill these last two out. That's what the Google bots read and it's important. So go ahead and use that image. And then when we click add new product category, you see it show up right here. Now we also need to add Imperial. And once again, we'll uh, not worry about slug and this time we do want to worry about parent and make sure that it resides underneath the parent category Chrysler and we'll use our cheat text to get the description real quick and we'll upload a different image for this particular one so let's go back to upload files and we'll use the Imperial that we have there and this one is Chrysler Imperial category Oops parts category and once again we'll copy that all your Chrysler Imperial parts in one place actually not a good idea to use exclamation marks okay there we are now we'll add this product category and you can see it's got the little line here showing that it resides underneath the parent there. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add a product. So go ahead and come over here to the left and hit left click add product. And this time we're going to sell some hubcaps. That's going to be our, our item. And we'll use our filler text description here. And once again, you can you can do different things like this, like it's a Word document and bold different things, and um, maybe maybe bold that and what the item is. Okay. The most important thing to remember here is is that you've got to make sure you select the appropriate categories so that it uh, is in both of those. And then if you want to put any particular tags like hubcaps, Chrysler and Imperial. Uh, very very good idea to do that and maybe even new old stock. Okay now we're gonna put a SKU, um, some SKU and then a regular price let's say it's seventy five dollars and then maybe on sale for seventy two dollars starting today and that sale is going to end on Friday. So now that we've done all that next thing we need to do is set product image and um, we don't really have a picture of a hubcaps on my computer, so let's just pretend that this is the product uh, set of hubcaps. And now we'll click Publish. And we middle click our mouse on View Product, and that'll show us what that thing looks like on the website. You can see here that one of the things we're going to need to fix is that it's in uh, not, not English or dollars. Uh, so, uh, But you see here that it's Home Chrysler Imperial Hubcaps. We also see the URL structure is not the URL friendly, URL friendly, URL friendly excuse me, uh, but we'll fix that in an upcoming video. And uh, you can see you can add the cart now and view the cart. You can calculate your shipping, select that you're from the United States, and we can make that default United States. And there you have it. Proceed to checkout.
add any coupons that you had. If it's going to be a different shipping address than the billing, you can do that. This is a basic WordPress installation. There is nothing done to the theme, so this is just raw function. And uh, you can see that when you click shop there, this is now showing in the results of shopping. And that's how you add a product to the WooCommerce. Thank you for watching.